I believe I may be there. You went left twice. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I had to stop the broadcast and start again. Uh, how is this? Can you hear me, yes or no? Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Good. <clears throat> Uh, I, I'm not seeing that chat, that is very disappointing, which means I'm going to have to do the thing maybe here. And then just bring u boat back up. All better, all good. Sweet. Um, so first of all, I'm, I'm going to be squished because uh, NVIDIA Broadcast gives me a white screen camera output, but NVIDIA um, Experience wants it in a four by three sort of format almost a square so you know I'm, I'm squished it's what it is we are in u-boat <clears throat> and we're just going to jump in okay and we're going to just sort of talk through it as we do things let me go and turn that down a bit for myself and we're going to be in u48 because that's where we are starting the war uh, on the 1st of september 1939 we're starting in the port of Wilhelmshaven and yes we will keep this entertaining not hardcore we will make it easy for ourselves because this is a hard enough experience as it is okay so next well, we're going to do the crew management the same okay i'm, I'm going to be lazy about it and say next um little disclaimer i want to call it right um yes we're playing on the german side we're playing for the germans and you will hear the sailors all conversing in German, essentially, okay? Doesn't mean I condone what happened back then. Um, doesn't mean I support the, the, the German side. Uh, that could be because copyright? I don't know. Uh, let me go and change that in a second, okay? Um, anyways... We're going to leave most of the settings as they are. The only thing I want to enable is collision damage because if I'm stupid enough to run into a boat, then I want to be punished for that. And we're going to have realistic bilge. Bilge is the water that sort of settles at the bottom of the boat. As we traverse uh, deeper waters, you know, the pressures change, the metal moves, and you have a little bit of leakage. And this is basically what bilge is. So we're going to have that. No darker nights. Um... And the rest we're going to leave as is. And now we get to, yes, pick our captain. And like last time, we're going to make sure, or like uh, when I tight right, this is the first time, right? We're, we're going to have him have a pipe. And it's going to be Captain Novice, right? Not Captain Crunch because I don't like cutting the roofs off mouths.
Okay. Give me two seconds, I'm going to try something here. Yeah, this should be fine now. Oh, please, game. Oh, the heck? No, you're on the wrong screen. Wait. No. You're literally on the wrong screen. What on the earth? Okay. Now I just need the game to please return to... You're just going to be staying there, right? Right. Settings. Video. I, I, I don't know what made you go there. Let, let me try something here. Uh... Go like. Is there not even a screen I could select? I don't even know if you can see the game screen at the moment or not. So, no. I, I thought so. Okay, let me try like thusly. I, I am now looking at the correct screen. I need to. Okay. Apparently, we 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 are good now. I will take the music and turn it on. Yeah, yeah, my computer's kicking my arse today. I, I don't know what's going on at the moment. But it is what it is, right? Uh, but, okay. <coughs> Resume. We are actually in the game. And performance is okay. I, I, I can live with what we're doing. So, let me walk through the controls very quickly. It's not much to it. Left mouse click is when you hold it and move the mouse is your camera, okay? And the right mouse click, which I'm not gonna do right now because that will set a course. And we will see an example of that very soon. Um, before we go anywhere, <clears throat> we, we, we need a few things. First, we're gonna add a Christmas tree because it adds basically Christmas spirit and helps with morale. Okay, morale is basically a resource we have to deal with. So we're going to put them a little, well, they call it a Christmas tree. I, I want to call it an abomination, but you know, it's, it's something to make them more happy. And it's the only thing we can afford right now. The next thing we need to do is we need to do supplies. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, you are kidding me. Uh, this is just going better and better today, right? Uh, let me try something here. What if I do like so and say yes? <laughs> and why is my stream preview not showing? I I'm, I'm just not having a good time today. And my mouse is not even moving on that. Oh, that's, that's, oh, yes, it is just delayed. Okay, maybe we are good now. Uh, exit, resume. Okay. So we've put a bit of Christmas tree in there. Okay. I, I can now see it. Yes, I, I'm, I'm watching the preview myself. <laughs> oh, God. This is all a uh, very slow start, and I do apologize. But, you know, these are the things that happen when you try something new. Anyways, we need to supply. And so, supply menu. Okay, and the first thing we need to do always is make sure we have all the fuel. 
right? Just make sure we have all of us 110 tons of fuel on board. Then we will look at torpedoes. And okay, one empty. We're going to just stick that T2 put torpedo in there. Um, so T is for the type of torpedo, so type 1 or type 2. And the second bit is for the... Um, let's call it detonator, right? At the moment, we're using basically impact pistols. And it's actually as simple as it sounds. It's a, it's a bit of metal, if you will, that's at the front of the torpedo that as the torpedo hits the enemy boat, you know, it gets rammed in and makes explosion. It's literally as simple as that. Okay, cool. What else? I would like to make sure that <clears throat> our flak has... 2,000 more of those because British, the British were very, very strong actually in the air at this time. And we will also give the deck gun, <clears throat> say, 20 more shells, large armor piercing, you know, for the deck gun. Um, also, we always need more coffee, okay? We're going to buy four more coffees. Um, what else? I think that should do for now. We have repair equipment. We have food aboard. Okay, good. Next, we will talk to our boss. You know, our commanding officer, our leading officer. We weren't on patrol yet. But thanks anyways. Um, are there any orders? So we have at the moment, you know, three things we could do. We have a patrol uh, just out in the Irish Sea, or Celtic Sea outside Ireland. We have a patrol sort of north, you know, Scotland basically, in what's just the Isle, uh, the Isles, Northern Isles there. And ooh, this looks like it could be dangerous. Right, we're, we're right, and what's that, Port of London? Ooh. Uh, I almost feel like I want to do that. Normally I go for the northern patrol routes, but I almost feel like we want to go down here. <clears throat> okay. And essentially all we need to do is go to this grid and travel 2,000 kilometers. Okay. Uh, select that mission. Okay, and this is basically us ready to go. We have we have a mission, we have something to do, we have, you know, uh, crew is basically good to go, and let's look at the map. We are right here in the port of Wilhelmshaven, North Germany. Okay. Um, I, I grew up literally right here somewhere. <laughs> uh, no, actually, sorry, uh, wrong direction. Uh, right up here. That's where I grew up. Anyways, um, you know, Port of Wilhelmshaven, and we're gonna plot a route. And I'm doing this with right clicks. Now, the cool thing in this game is we're on the map view. Well, let me let me go and zoom in. Is that our U-boat? I see. You can literally zoom in all the way. Uh, it's it's awesome. So let's lay a course just out of the harbor first. And if you hold shift, basically, you can see the sort of project, uh, projections of course <coughs> that you will have. So if we go and say, come come out to here, and then with shift, you can also, you know, just add waypoints, essentially. We're going to come, say, out to here for 16 kilometers, and just sort of thread through here. I like that. And then let's come out. Where are we? Okay, and then we're going to start our patrol pretty much right there. Okay, and we're going to map something out. So, say on our first leg, we're going to come all the way over here. Going to come down a bit. Going to come over. This will probably do. Although, yeah, maybe do something like that. And then see how we get on with our patrol from there. Okay, we may have been busy by then already. Okay, now we have set a course, but wait, we're, we're not moving. Well, we have different controls up here. We have speed control, um, and this is what's called the telegraph. Okay, we basically indicate we want to go slow, 
um, well, this is very slow, forward one, forward two, three and four, and up to forward five, which is basically, you know, full pelt. However, let me go and add a few sailors to each officer, right? Well, one, we, we only have five sailors with us, I think we can use. Anyways, we can now say, well, go slow for now. And boom, we are basically cast off now. Now, I have mods on, okay, and one of those is that, for example, this propeller speed gets fixed to the real physical representation of what those screws should be doing. Um, I mean, they do a lot in terms of simulation, and you, you know, I, I love me my deep simulations, like, look at me playing D-Rail Valley. Um, but you know, there's certain things that maybe optically may not be quite right yet. And keep in mind, this is still early access. We, we were promised a release the end of this year, or very, very soon, hopefully. Um, but you know, there's still little things that are different. Anyways, one of the other mods I've added is this guy. Basically, we are now set for 19 kilometers. Well, let me see, I don't want to go quite as fast. So we're gonna set it for 16. Okay. And then basically because it's sort of a manual control, it, it has to stop the engines quickly and then set up speed manually. But yeah, there we go. We have time controls. When I hit the middle mouse button, you know, the one that has your scroll wheel on it. Um, and by the way, all the mouse assignments all assume a right-handed dude or dudette. Okay, if, if you're left-handed, it'd be uh, obviously left and right mouse buttons would be reversed. Um, but if you hit the middle mouse button, you have time acceleration of 12x. And because we're in the harbour, we're not going to go faster than that just yet. Don't want to ruin the boat on our first foray. I, I just don't think that would be the thing to do, right? But right now we're heading to the dock here, or to the gate. So I, I, I always forget the English name for this. But basically you drive in and it lowers or raises the water level to bring you to the, you know, next bo uh, body of water that may have a height difference. It's essentially a water lift, <laughs> call it that. But I'm glad to see I can actually show off this game. Uh, this, this has been a little bit in the coming, or a little bit in the making. Now you'll see we'll slow down. Eventually. Oh. Oh, we must be on the same level. <clears throat> because normally the boat will actually come to a halt and you'll see a raise or a drop here on the, on the, on the... Where is it? I've just seen it on that indicator, for example. You know, that's what they actually have them on, on the cable walls for. To indicate the <clears throat> tights. I know... So, let's, <clears throat> you know, very gently and carefully sort of pull out here. I know, I'm pulling out, like, what? It normally doesn't, don't happen. <laughs> Anyways, I, we're all good right now, okay? Now, the interesting part about this game is that you can go first person, so we could basically take over, well, look at the captain himself. And he's, he's right there. And we can actually make our own observations. You know, can scan the the heavens or the horizon, I should say, and see what's you know out there, if if there is anything out there. But you know, of course not at the moment, most likely. And then if I just zoom out, basically, I'm gonna sort of leave that perspective, and then we are you know back in our external view. Um, for now. Because, you know, we are in German waters, it's very unlikely anything going to happen here. We can sort of follow along, maybe. <laughs> At 48 speed for now. And again, you can... You can see the boat right there. I sort of love that. That you have that ability. Gives you real immersion. <clears throat> Anyways, we, you know, go. 
And you can see how long this leg is and how much is left for us to travel. And I would like to, just because I can, you know, we, we can look at the course change in the water and in the wake. Uh, I love the water simulation in this. It's, it's, I know, I don't know if it's super accurate, but it looks good. Like, as the all matters. <laughs> And the seas can be rough in this game, oh my goodness. But yeah, we, we are basically just, you know, heading out. We, we might run into a fishing ship or, uh, fishing ship or two, um, which is another mod I added. But you, you will, again, you will see that the mods I normally add, they are more quality of life things. They are maybe more immersion things. But, you know, let's pull on some speed and just observe until we sort of get out of here. And so a lot of what you do in U-Boat is just this. You are waiting and watching the map. <clears throat> okay. Now we've sighted a ship, but it's going in the same direction. So either it's a fishing ship or it's another uh, Type 7 U-Boat, like what we are. And it's a fishing ship. Well, talking of which, right, we, we can indeed see her right here. <laughs> <clears throat> Pardon me. I love that. And just basically hoping that we're not going to crash into her, but we should be fine. And you know what? Just give it all the beans. We've got places to be. Um, let's talk quickly about the people that we have on board, our officers mainly. <clears throat> so we we'll have a captain. He can pretty much do any job. <clears throat> he can go on any of the outside guns, you know, the the, the flak or the deck gun. Uh, they can he can use the attack periscope as well as the observation periscope. He can, you know, do power <laughs> switching and all the things, and he can go do sonar work as well as radio work, I believe, if it wasn't occupied right now. The next guy is a mechanic. We have two of those, right? And normally what you do is you have one mechanic responsible for your engines, which you know Horst Weber is. And then we, uh, we have got Michael Knot. And I, I will make a point of pronouncing these names in German, by the way, because, well, they're all Germans, right? Um, and he is essentially normally resp responsible for performing maintenance on the torpedoes. And what that means is he basically keeps them prepared so that when we want to load them into a tube or when they're in the tube, they have the highest chance of actually impacting and uh, detonating. <clears throat> Next guy, radio guy. He is essentially radio and sonar. Or, well, listening post, okay? <clears throat> That's all he does. And he's good at it. And he can sometimes also be a medic. But it, it sort of depends on his training as well. And then you've got your sort of, well, we will call him the XO, okay? Your, 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 your second officer or whatever. And he can do pretty much everything you can do, just not quite as good. Okay, well, he's the second in command, not the first. <laughs> Makes sense? Um, anyway, so you, you can basically assign jobs and then they go and do those jobs. You can also take each one of these guys over and do the job for them. And we'll show you an example when we will do some listening underwater, for example. We also have a bunch of devices and other orders and things we can change. The gyro compass allows us to keep track of where we are, but it is noisy. Okay, it essentially has a spinning mass of metal inside. It's spinning very fast, actually, and in some cases, 10,000 RPM or something like that. Um, and you know, that's that's a lot of noise that, that generates especially in a piece of metal that you're trying to listen out from. Because so this is why you can turn this off. You have a searchlight, which I cannot see us using it. We're trying to hide. We're not trying to, you know, be obvious. But it's a thing. We have ventilation. Um, so that when we're underwater, you can basically improve the air quality for a little bit. We have a water uh, a pump to get rid of bilge that we've spoke about before. And it's essentially the accumulation of water at the bottom of the boat. Uh, we have an electric compressor, a compressor, and a diesel compressor. Now, these compressors provide compressed air for diving. Or, you know, uh, raising again. 
and again you know the, these can be very noisy but you could actually run an electric compressor underneath uh, underwater instead of running the diesel compressor because shooting a torpedo also uses same compressed air okay um, then we have lighting normal lighting for normal conditions and it basically has a disciplined growth when we run red lighting we see better in the dark and you can see that visually the screen becomes actually a little bit brighter um, then you have blue lighting which basically reduces crew noise reduces oxygen noise but it will also increase their stress quite a bit <clears throat> you know so that whole discipline thing is something that we need to manage over the long term uh, we can you know run a ring for alarm you know everyone to battle stations sort of thing can say stop direct orders just game do it for me you know as I do other things we can close all the bulkheads meaning close all the doors on the ship or on the boat um, to make sure no water can go from one compartment to another and then dive planes is essentially exactly what it sounds like you have on a on a, on a u-boat you have let's see if we can see them somewhere back here these little planes that where the screws are going along right oh too far sorry these planes here and normally they get operated electrically however if you want to go really quiet you would stop doing that and you would have basically two guys sitting right here at these depth uh, depth steer stations and they would manually yeah keep track of the depth so you would not broach through the water as you're you know trying to sneak on the target anyways enough explanations i think Let's get to the target. Let's, let's actually go and do stuff. Let's let's blow up some stuff. Some stuff. Uh, some stuff. Okay. Let's see what we can get up to. And you know, once you have left dangerous waters, as in like shallow waters or something like that, we have more acceleration available to us. And normally the 6500 is sort of when you have to traverse big stretches. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is when we get here, we're going to do a listening. Okay. I'm going to show you the manual part of that as well as just how to trigger all that because we have you know some other controls we haven't looked at so let's yeah let, let the boat come closer uh a bit more speed please a bit more uh they will do okay <clears throat> now everyone's sleeping at the moment because the tiredness is quite bad you know this bar at the bottom indicates they're energy status if you will or the, the lack thereof um but that is actually fine because so what what are the conditions it's fairly quiet actually that's good i like um and then you know what we're going to do we're going to tell schuster uh Karlheinz schuster you come with me uh i would like you like you is that in this cabinet I need to look? Yes, there's a cup of coffee I would like you to drink. Okay. And it makes it a little bit better once he does the thing. Oh yeah, he's now at the radio station. Okay. And he's got someone named Luther with him. Um, I don't know. I don't know what his name is. It, it doesn't say. But anyway, so <clears throat> we've got Schuster. He's now actually basically wanting to send off a report that, you know, we've reached our air, air, our patrol area and we're good to do things. Well, <clears throat> let's make sure we're not... Not that we are alone, so to speak. Now, we come to the second control, the depth controls, okay? Um, well, green makes... I think this is fairly self-explanatory. Up to 100 meters is safe. Uh, up to was uh, 164 meters is where it's getting a little bit scared on the boat and this is sort of where we're gonna definitely crush right we, we don't even really want to be in the yellow unless we have to avoid stuff we can then see where to dive to decks of wash is sort of only the conning tower and you can sort of exchange air but it depends on how quiet the sea is periscope depth Crash dive is basically get as fast as you can deep down in case of, say, airplanes, okay? And then we have a routine check of the surroundings with the hydrophone. And this does a whole thing, bunch of things. You can see that. 
it disables the air compressors, the U-boat dives to 50 meters or lower if it's you know shallower than that. Um, the most rested radio man goes to the hydrophone station, radio man is listening for, for screw sounds for five minutes and no not that sort of screwing, um, you know, bolt screws. Um, and then the U-boat goes back to the surface, air compressors are unable to replenish the lost compressed air in the process. Well, click. Let's actually go and do that. Let's let's go underwater. Because we're meant to be a U-boat after all, right? However, unlike in cold waters, most of the time was actually still spent above water here because oxygen was a precious resource. Uh, resource. Okay. Like, around the 60s, 70s, I, I reckon, we, we managed to actually build U-boats that you could have underwater for... I reckon weeks, given enough supplies of water and food, of course, but in terms of, you know, oxygen replenishment, yeah, we, we could do that. Right, and this all takes time. you got to remember, these, these people are moving now to different stations. You see them, by the way, at the depth station. Okay, we have now turned off our diesel engines, and we are using, you know, the electric engines. For the boat while well, we're still turning screws you know and you've got the guy where is he now at the listening station okay but we're still going down and it is dark down here so don't even try and hope and see anything not gonna happen well, let's and then you hear them complain as well okay now we are at the listening station uh, I, I don't know the technical names for all this, right? This is essentially indicating our direction, and you can change that with A and D. With Shift A and D, it goes a bit faster. You have different frequency ranges, I want to call this, that you can listen to, and volume. So first off, we'll, we'll turn up the volume, and we'll start listening. <clears throat> And what you're hearing right now is us. You're hearing the electrics going off, so... Let's go and do an actual, you know, be as quiet as we all can. You notice that things are definitely... Okay, I'm um, a lot quieter on the ship now. So we have actual tra actually a chance of finding other things. And then you scan in a circle. And then again, we're starting to hear us just... I don't... I don't think there's anything out here. Yeah, I, I don't... Okay, but this is only if you want to. You, you, you don't have to do this yourself. And you get this little LED, or a lamp I should say, uh, that will indicate if, if you've found a signal. But I just don't think that we're going to hear anything anything out here. No, that's just what I think is going to happen, It's which is fine. Um, so, you know, we're just going to... Because he, he can listen himself, it's fine, honestly. Uh, let me go and say, you know, this can go back to so... And I think we're good. <clears throat> and then we're just going to let time pass. Okay, and then basically we're up, back up now, but you see our O2 reserves are a little bit low. So now those two compressors are going to get turned on. I'm waiting for that. 
So we have a little less buoyancy at the moment. That's sort of what this indicator is. And we're not very visible, which is good. Right. Our visibility in noise is all sort of part of this thing, uh, of this window. Uh, I quite like how they've sort of broke that down. Um, but I'm still waiting on somebody. Please. Right. You know what? We're going to just do it ourselves. Go and turn them both on, right? We need that air back just in case. <clears throat> and I'll be back here somewhere. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening, right? And you can hear that. That's that's really noisy. You don't want to run this, obviously. Plus, it takes up oxygen, which is why you don't want to run this underwater anyways. But, you know, the different story altogether. And there's the electric one also turned on. Oh. Oh, autosave. But now we can see that actually going up. Right? The other thing we want to keep an eye on <coughs> is this. There is water inside this compartment. How much? Uh, 0.2 cubic meters. Let's, you know, while we're here, we may as well go and pump out. Okay, I feel that may as well be a thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is not for the faint of heart in that regard. I'm going to tell you a rest, by the way. Because I, I don't think you want to be on coffee again. And we're going to have him on navigator station. Because, here's the thing. When we travel, and especially when we travel underwater, we lose what's called navigational accuracy or correctness. Right? So you want someone that is at least manning a map that keeps track of your course changes, things like that. Okay? Um, you see other conditions, of course. You can also see what, and this is going to change, by the way, in in the future release, um, where you can go with the mouse anywhere here, and you see on the right a depth of what you would expect there to find, or how deep it would go. Okay. Well, in the future, you're actually more or less required to use this guy here. Now, let's let's go and talk man quickly. We use an echo sounder. And we literally send a ping out, and it tells us 38 meters under keel, right? They're, they're going to improve on that a little bit, so it, it sort of shows as a UI element as you do the echo <coughs> sounding. But yeah, you know, this this is there's a lot involved here. Let's go and do more of our patrol, okay? And as we just zoom out, you can see where our patrol cluster is, or sorry, our patrol area. Then we're just gonna let her run. As a matter of fact, just give it a beans. Okay, and then these things happen. You, we're getting messages, and we're getting messages in this case from the BDU, I think. Hostile actions on the part of the Polish allies, England and France, are not to be expected. Hostile actions against them are prohibited until further notice. Okay, okay. No shoot English and French. Okay, I understand. Oh, you can pause. Spacebar. <laughs> Best thing ever, right? Pausable combat uh, strategy works for me. If it, When it's completely uh, real-time and unpausable, it's when I freak out. But, you know, we're just waiting for developments along Europe right now. Okay. Of course, something has changed. You've seen Britain just turn red there. So let's look at that message. To all submarines, English ships are to be considered hostile with immediate effect. At present, all first w all first wave submarines are instructed to attack freighters in accordance with the terms of the price rules. As long as the price rules are enforced, cargo ships flying the English flag may be attacked without warning. Uh, some commanding officer, okay? Well, you don't say. And we are in a patrol, okay? I, I feel like we were going to just... <laughs> Go to the port of London or near it and, and see. Okay, just just see what we could see. 
see I, I'm trying really really hard not to come out with stuff like that because of I understand how sensitive this can all be right but yes of course kill the English and and, and I'm, I will be trying to go after one of their prices uh, you know one of their their, their, their flagships I'm, I'm gonna be going after the Nelson come on that's gonna have to happen right <laughs> I, I don't know if we'll get that mission today but it's when you're doing uh, the attack on Scapa floor uh, up north uh, somewhere here actually Right, when you do that attack, there's a whole <laughs> yeah, you, you can find the Nelson up there. <coughs> so, that, that can promise to be fun, right? And what I would like to do is, yeah, get a bit closer and then we're gonna just listen, just as we're literally sitting right outside this bit. We're just uh oh, what's changed? France has been at war with us since 1700 hours today. Defensive actions against French warships and freighters are permitted. Submarines are not allowed to board or attack French flagged vessels. Self-defense is allowed. I point out that all United Kingdom ships are also to be considered hostile. Okay, boss. Jawohl. Let's go. And then we're just gonna, you know, very carefully. What time is it? Oh, this is perfect. Oh, this is perfect. Coming to night time. I mean, we're still a ways out. And we are... Okay, everyone's sleeping. I suppose that makes sense for now. Let them sleep. Um, and just, you know, keep going for a bit. And then we're going to call it an all stop. Okay, oh, so U1163 has reported something. Uh, single merchant ship propeller heard in, a, in Naval Square A and 881, I believe that is. Estimated slow speed in eastern course. We are currently carrying out other orders. Good luck. Yeah, well, you know, um, here's my problem. I have different plans. Oh, thanks for the uh, follow, Blue Ross. Much appreciated, much appreciated. Yeah, I feel like we could, you know, we, we could push a little bit further into here. Never mind that little group. But we, we are just here. And I think we should listen out to what may be around us. Because this is starting to get a little bit dangerous, I want to say. So let's, you know, do that. Um, and before I'm actually going to go in, into anything, let's go quickly through the rest of the control, which is only one, really, which is the rudder. Okay, you can basically lay in a course with your rudder instead of mapping it out. Uh, I don't have any custom graphics, thanks for the offer. Because I can only stream this on NVIDIA Express uh, Experience and it doesn't really allow you to have custom graphics and all that sort of shenanigans. And I really don't want it for this game. But thanks anyways. Anyways, uh, yes, so you can actually influence the rudder yourself. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that myself, Bonnie. Thanks for pointing that out. And then the last button is the map click on click off you know it, it's nothing special there let's go and listen again <clears throat> oh my goodness <clears throat> not a lot of what you call it um a lot of water below us if it's only going down to 10 meters so we're gonna have to just you know take our time here I want to really listen out and see what's what we're up against. But if we could pick up something and, and pick it, you know, pick it off. Just slam a little torpedo into it. Just a friendly little hello. Okay. Yeah, never mind the periscope, but we're, we're, we're going a little bit deeper than that. And while we're at it, blue lighting, no gyro. Oh, like so. Okay. 
let's let's help out the poor guy a little bit when he's listening. Because this is going to be noisy as anything right above the... Uh, right under the actual sea. Okay, so you, you can see actually our sort of hydrophone operating here and, and he's listening out just in the middle there. It gets a little better, but it is just very, very noisy here. So we're just going to let them do the thing. As a matter of fact, just give it a beans. Okay. Now please restore the pressure first. <coughs> and now. Very carefully. Where are we? And how far can I go? Oh, I can go quite a bit there. So let's, let's just lay in something to... Uh, actually, I don't know, maybe do something a little bit smarter. Come, come down and sort of stay along the coast line. Because surely no one is going to notice a U-boat sneaking along the English coast here, right? Nobody's going to notice, and I'm sure it's all friendly, right? So we've set a course, and we're going to give it the beans. Not, not all the beans, but some of the beans. Okay. I have a feeling this is going to be quite sketchy. Now we've got what three meters underneath. Ooh, maybe maybe I should plan that. Maybe more here-ish. My 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 goodness, it's just not much water there to play with. And I like to play with wet things. Right? I mean, behave yourself, Sebastian. <clears throat> uh, gonna just sneak forwards a bit. This is very tense, by the way. This is not something that any sane man would probably have considered, even at the time. Actually, let me change course to just head straight in there, that 30 kilometers. Go for it. Whew. Also, red lighting would probably be better to go and do all these things. Oh, good grief, Sebastian. So not with it. That should have all been done before, but it's fine. I'm just sort of waiting for them to shout at me saying, Oh, we found something. <laughs> Uh, I just gotta say no comment, right? I think that's the safest bet here. For everyone involved. <laughs> Especially me. <laughs> uh, let's go. Uh, I don't know how close I wanna push this, because this, this is already incredibly stupid. You know what, this will do me. And then what I would like to do is... I will turn the boat around. We're gonna just work with the rudder now a little bit. Um, how can you forget about that part? Or if I just even done maybe this, right? Just up the way. Yep, you turn around for me. <coughs> and stop. Right in the rudder, just straight up and then what we're going to do is we will reverse <clears throat> ok 
Okay. I will reverse a little bit. Uh, don't like what's happening there. No. Come on. Just keep her straight. Okay, uh, when you say shallow area, how, how bad is it? Okay, it's just not entirely <laughs> terrible, but we maybe want to just stop here. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe that's just a good idea. Just call a stop here. And <clears throat> then we're going to do another listening. Ooh, yes, coastline. This is what I was waiting for. Oh my goodness. God, everyone can just see me, right? I mean... We're not exactly hiding here. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, just go to PD. Okay. I'm just going to very gently just try and disappear. I mean, it's only two in the morning, so realistically, we're seeing a lot better than we should be expected to. But it's... Gosh, it's still a very bright night. Okay. Take her under. Go on. Do it. Okay, good, 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 good. Now, I would like you to just go and listen out, okay? We're also going to say, please, shush everyone. And... Also, I am going to have you... Uh, shoot. Actually, you. You can do that for me, right? You can just say, hey, go and help them with the depth keeping. So basically what's going to happen now is that... What's his name? A name Horst Weber. He's now going to come and watch these two guys basically keep track of their depth. Oh, there he is. Auf Seerohrtiefe. <laughs> Very German indeed. Good, 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 good. You, you make sure of that, right? And then we have a guy listening out. And I want to see that on the map. Um, like we should be hearing things for sure. If, if something is here, we should hear it. I mean, come on, it's the port of London, right? People would have been leaving from here, going to here, I don't know. And then the only thing I'm going to have to make sure now is because we're going to run, hopefully, through most of the day underwater. I'm going to have him listen, but it's nothing. I, I feel betrayed. I feel cheated. Come on. Capital of England, or the United Kingdom even, and there's no traffic coming by. What, is it too late in the night? Does is, is nobody want to travel? You know, that could well be a thing. Um, but yeah, air quality is going down. Which is, you know, we're just going to have to deal with it. It's just what it is. Okay, give it a bit of speed and just see what happens, okay? What, three in the morning? Okay, 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 interesting. Okay, something interesting happens. No, okay, this is what happens when you do a right click. Right, it, it goes and does things. So just don't, 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 don't do anything just now. No, oh, fair enough. Okay. Who was it? You that's listen uh, found them. Well, shoot. That means you can't see them from there, right? Oh my goodness. Okay. And their warships too. Ooh. 
Right, let us do a bit of a um, turn here. And I am literally going to just at one kilometer just very, very just slowly turn her. What are they up to? As this is definitely a sound contact though, it's like not something that they would have Let's let's go and sort of set up a course for that and say maybe like that, okay? And just move a little bit in that direction, just very gently, I don't know, like, like so. Because we're moving, we're losing. We're losing a little bit of audibility, audibility basically. So I'm expecting to see ships over there somewhere. I think I'm even seeing smoke, but let me let me investigate with him. Cree, what's what's the bearing here? It's a coastal defense patrol. Okay, we well, you 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 figure out some things already. And wh where are they though? Because they must be. Where are we? Okay. Sort of this way. Come come up a bit, bit. Take the periscope up a bit so we can actually see a little bit better. But I don't I don't see them. It is it is not good conditions at the moment. Uh what do we have here? View mode. Do we not have uh filters for this? This will do me, but I thought there was a... No, apparently not. Maybe I'm on the wrong periscope. Oh. I don't see them, though. Because normally you can see smoke plumes or something. Uh, we're just going to slowly move in that direction and just see what happens, okay? Uh oh. Do they do they know we're here? Okay, let me set up something, but we shall actually reverse into that position. <coughs> and just very, very carefully. I know it's a shallow area, I I understand that. Just have to live with it. Oh, I'm not liking this at all. Okay, come to a stop. Okay, uh, not map. This. I mean, they, they, they must be literally right there. Or have I got something wrong here in my or orientation? Get that up a bit. Oh, because that's going out to the open sea. My goodness. But they're definitely not coming from the uh, open sea. They're coming from here. I just don't see them. Yet. Which scares me, actually. It scares me a lot. Where are you? I mean, I know they're off to my... Mm, we have map tools as well. as a protractor I need for that, I think. How far away are they? About five kilometers. Okay. That's not what I wanted, though. Um, I was looking for an angle or a bearing coming from my... Okay, but you know, there's different map tools you can use to mark positions and that. Uh, just 
but I have to learn all that still. But right now, oh gosh, um, set the rudder to this zero. Just don't do anything with it. <coughs> And we're, we're going to have to go back a bit more, like quite a bit more. Um, the fact that I can't see them is really worrying me. Just to make sure I'm not missing them. Oh, hello. I got you. Oh my goodness. It's a f that looks like a fishing boat. I could be wrong. Oh, it's apparently a fast attack craft. Okay. Where's your where's your compadre? Cause he's right beside you. Where is he? Where's your partner in crime? Is he still behind the horizon bend? I don't think so. <laughs> he shouldn't be. Okay, uh, this is starting to get a little bit sketch. Um, yeah, okay, you know what we're going to do is we're going to have people... work on some information on this guy okay we're, we're gonna have to figure out what, what we're doing who who he is and i think you could uh, we don't need damage control manage the torpedoes for me please i mean okay they're, they're fine um I'm looking for... Okay, you're commanding. You're on the attack periscope. Who's running the observation periscope? That's my... I would have to get you on that. Okay. And also get you involved in making a solution. Okay, now they are working on that. They are going to try and figure out what, what the ships are and what they do. And, like, Fog of War obviously doesn't tell us anything yet. They need to really be in clear sight range. Um, I feel like our course is changing a bit, which I don't like. I want to straighten out a bit. Because so I'm looking to basically set up for a good shot straight away. Um, but we can't do that from here. They really want to be sort of not quite in front of us, sort of a little bit off as as they're coming along. But basically, as we're hitting them, we want to be sort of a ninety degree angle. Uh, so you know, just very careful. Just that's all I can do. I have no idea how to play this game other than that. Um, <clears throat> I should probably be able to identify this if I knew what I was doing. They're not freighters. They're not tankers. I see. This is where I I, I don't know. Is it what, what is a corvette? What is a destroyer? A cruiser? Okay, they seem to. Well, you do you do see it's a fast attack craft. Oh, you know what? We're just gonna. Recognize it as such. If that's the only fast attack craft we have in the catalog, we're going to call it that. Um, getting a little bit high here. Because remember that they can see these sort of things, right? Like that sort of pipe sticking out, or two of them. It's it's not something that they didn't know about. They they knew exactly what was what they expected when they seen this. Okay, um, there's other things we can do. I could, could do a speed reading, right? And the way that works, um, is, I, I don't know, a velocity reading. 
Okay, so basically you wait until they pass with the front somewhere and then you time it. Uh, shoot, missed it. I had to find the button first. So let me come around a bit to say 330. And as they pass that front on my cross right now. Wow, okay. They are moving at what? No, no way. There is no way they're moving at 30, what, 7 knots. Right? There is no way. I, I don't think that is correct. Not that. Oh, gosh. How are we getting on with this solution, boys? I need this to be really done a lot better than what we are doing it because they are fast my goodness let's go and do a bit of a turn actually that way but we're gonna go you know backwards again oh we're still going backwards anyway so it's fine okay mtb 61 solution is terrible I think this is down here basically this is how well we think we can hit them but they may well be going that fast I mean what do we know about the MTB how fast can it go oh wow yeah she could well have been going that fast holy schnitzel yeah, there she is. Gonna try and do another velocity reading. No. Nope. Shit. That was my fault. Okay, and set. Okay. You've determined a course. Um... What we're going to say distance here, if we just took a protractor and just, just, just from there, just so at one point three, we're going to call that. Okay. Um. Okay. <coughs> right. There's there is something. And we're, not, we're never going to get a good shot on, off on this, but we're going to try anyways, okay? Uh, because I don't even... We're going to do it. 35... Oh my goodness. There's no way we're going to hit them. Nah. I have a feeling you're, you're, you're a very similar thing. Uh... Also, why? Because it's still this bad of a solution, is this what you're saying? What about you then? What what do we know? Do we know anything? Uh, okay, then put 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 um <clears throat> put the torpedoes away. Yeah, it's it's the same thing basically. And they're probably traveling at very similar speeds. You know what? We'll go try it. There's a 60% chance of hitting that, okay. What about you? You're even worse, okay. Get, get, get working on that. And you were just gonna make a lucky shot here. Okay, we're just gonna... Uh, less dispersion. This is a very small boat. Oh, no, no. This, this has gotten turning out terrible already. Because our angle is changing just too rapidly. Okay, 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 I understand. Fine, fine. Do me a solution on that? No? So how fast did we say you're traveling at 37? What What if we gave him you, you the same information here? So what velocity? 37, we'll just set that, okay? My goodness, there they are. 
so fast. Uh, you figure out that course, and I'm going to give you a distance of about the same, okay? And I can also tell you it is this. Okay, now... <clears throat> what did we know about the course of this one? 68.3? Well, I'll give it that same data and just going to see what happens, okay? Uh, click on the boat. 21% of chance, 22% uh, chance of hitting. Oh, gosh. Uh, it's not even worth it. I feel like it's not even worth trying that. Uh, let me go and turn around quite a bit, but we're going to have to now turn. Yeah, that's not going to happen. There's just no way we're going to get a shot off on these guys. They are so fast. Holy shit. Um, okay. I don't know what I want to do now. Because that, that is just... And they're going to eat me for breakfast, right? Because they're pretty much designed for this exact job, I, I reckon. Um, yeah, again, angle, angle turning, absolute terrible. <laughs> Even if I turn it very quickly, I don't think that's going to change much here. Yeah. And it's exactly that is the problem there, that basically because it's got to be that shallow of an angle as it hits the boat, it's more likely to just bounce off rather than do a direct hit and, you know, have an impact. So, oh well, this was a bit of a missed chance, I feel, but I, I really don't feel we can confidently say we're going to sink them, right? It's just, and there's no way of keeping up with them either. Uh, so, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to bring her back round, might as well, and backwards a bit, and... Oh, wrong side radar, apparently. Yeah, and then we're just going to stay exactly like this, and we're just going to hang out for a bit. Just, just go and do stop. Um. Uh, by the way, we, uh, we may have been able to see them if I hadn't waited so long. But you know, fine. Uh, <clears throat> Last time, no doubt. My goodness, they were fast. So it was just. I mean, I, I, I doubt even the torpedoes would have caught up. So, you know what we're going to do is wait for them to... You know, come up a bit more and... For now, can you go to listen and, to the room and send the message? Uh, right outside London, we're, we're sitting there and just sending off messages. It's not a problem at all, probably, right? Okay, we, we, we made some renown with that, I think they call it. Uh, well, reputation, but no, apparently we earned money. Uh, fine. Um, and it is now three in the morning, which means it's going to only get brighter now, which is not helpful. Alright, just return back to normal conditions for now. There's just nothing we can do about them anyways, okay? What I would like to do is probably come Dex Awash for a second. So we can help out with a bit of air and that. And then for now, you you go rest, please. We, we probably will need your services soon. Soon enough, anyways. Um, <clears throat> hoping to basically improve the air quality with Dexa Wash. Uh, 
and it just nope it's not quite good enough conditions for that maybe I don't know oh gosh do we really have to come up for this because I mean at some point they're gonna return right I mean Maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's exactly the thing to do right now. Go, come up, get fresh air, and then disappear for the whole day. Well, unless something comes along. Uh, I, I am seeing. Oh God, I have been looking at the wrong direction. Because from what I'm seeing, there's more boats coming there. Or something. Just to our left. Oh, yeah. Right, this is... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness, there's something coming up here. I, I think so, anyways. Calm round. Yeah. Something. Ah, hello. Hello, auto save. Uh, oh, God, what are you? What are you? Whatever you are, it's it's issues, and I can't get a lock on this. There, it's a Corvette. Oh my goodness! Um, no, I, I don't know anything about these sort of types of things, and it is. I don't think I I can see her from here. Not well enough. I mean, they can have some speed. These guys. Uh, well, I, I don't know what to recognize it as, so I am not going to, because that's just going to make it slower, actually. Uh, yep. Shoot. Uh, PD. Right now. And also... Yes, alarm, right now. All that stuff. Uh, shoot. I, 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 I got caught at the worst possible time probably but we'll see we'll see how we can get away with this you maintenance we need torpedoes ready that's that's gonna have to be a thing where's my visible where's where's my what are you doing Get back here, listen out. Danger. Did we miss them? No, we, we, we didn't. No, no, we, we didn't. Starting to worry there. No, no, he's, he's right there. Okay. Uh, okay, you're listening. You, somebody, please keep these torpedoes warm for me. Uh, although, uh, that should be fine. You. Observation scope. <clears throat> we need to know what the frick is going on with that boat. Yeah, yes. All of you, I need to. I need just to work on that. Okay, you can hear him, but nobody can see him yet. Does it help if I gave you something else? And we, uh, I don't know, um, take this guy away? No, it's not going to help. Oh. Because there's only one extra space in that station, so no. Shh. Unknown warship. I, I know it's a warship. I am well aware. They use sonar. So they would know exactly where we are if we've done anything. And I feel like I need to come back. Like, they're, they're going to ram right into us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to we're, we're gonna have to, just very gently, come back quite a bit. Uh, 
I want to be close to him when we shoot an eel, yes, but not that close. Oh, because it's untight. So, for now, uh, no, blue lighting, please. Uh, I need everyone to shush, basically, and oxygen <laughs> is a bit of an issue, but we're just going to have to bear, uh, grin and bear it. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on, people. He's literally right there. Okay, let me have another stab at... Oh, God, where is he? I'm looking the wrong direction for sure. We come around here. Um... Uh, oh, here, yeah, yeah, I, I see him. There you are. Okay, we, we still only know it's a Corvette. It, it looks fairly big. So I don't think it's an Isles. Could be a black swan. No, that's a destroyer, apparently. So there's a flower class and an Isles. That's, that's the two Corvettes that they have. And I couldn't tell you which one it is. Shh. Um, what, what do we know? We, we know nothing about her right now. This is quite worrisome. Okay, yes. Wor work on those. Work on those solutions. Work on that. Okay, what is that? That actually... Yeah, that is an IELTS. By the looks of it. So I'm helping myself out, right? I understand that I'm not supposed to look at the ship close up and all that, but you know, it's, hey, I'm learning. So, recognize it as an IELTS. Well, what else do we know? We know her course, essentially. Okay, what does that help me with? How how would one So I have a marker say here and here, okay. And I want to go and connect that. What do, what do you tell me? You tell me nothing about the angle there. This is why I'm not quite I, I wanna know like what course that is. You're not telling me. I, I don't understand that. What if we done like so? Now you're telling me a distance, but no course. I don't see any degrees anywhere. Like that would be the thing I'm looking for, right? The thing that tells me the, gre the degrees of what we've done here. So, I, this, I, I don't understand some of this because, well, I, I never learned it, right? That's just what it is. Alright, that's just 180. Like, coming up for yourself. 17. I, I, I don't understand. No. Oh god, no, please don't. Please, just... Actually, just... just no, just don't change anything. That was my fault. I, I clicked things. I think <clears throat> this is going to be far enough. Because I can tell us... I can tell roughly that the distance is going to be, I don't know, like... From here, a what, there. Something like 700 meters. Right? <clears throat> so that's going to be close enough for us to actually do some damage here. Now, are we... Did I get that wrong, maybe? I don't look like, like no flower class. Nope, wrong way. 
Yeah, it doesn't have the things at the back there. You know, those little... So this is definitely the right one. <clears throat> I could have actually done something about her speed. I, I don't know if I'm going to have enough time for it, but let me try something here. I can set a marker, say right there. Oh, also I need a stopwatch. Is there not such a... I thought we had a stopwatch. Yes, you. Where did... So you just disappear. Oh no, you're over here, right? No, that's just a daytime thing. This is not actually a, a stop stop watch. So how does one... You can basically do a 315, uh, so-called 315. What you do is you mark one spot, you measure 3 minutes 15, you measure the length, and that's your kilometers that they're traveling at. But... <clears throat> Well, what do we know about the Isles? How fast can she go? She, go, she can go 22. I, I don't think she's going that. To be honest, I, I don't think she's going that fast. And we can see very little. <clears throat> there she is. I'm wanting her, right? I, I'm wanting her down. <clears throat> That's why we're doing all this. And then we're going to go and continue our patrol as if nothing ever happened. Oh. Still need to get used to buttons. They're still slightly different from cold water, so I always get that mixed up. Uh, what do you know when I click on you? 9%. My goodness. We need to get a better understanding here. Yes, we have a visual bearing on, on, on the subject. I know this. I've seen it myself. <laughs> you you know nothing. This is this is so weird. Okay, we have we've got a course. So it's getting slightly better. We can do maybe a distance thing. There's a difference there with distance and how that works. So you come up, and we need a bit um height to see that. And then Q and E to rotate the ghost image so that its sea level is on the level of highest mast of the target ship. Right, so. 3.5 kilometers at the moment. Okay. Does that track with what we are seeing here, I wonder? Oh, very, mu very much so. Okay. Okay, good. We can try a velocity reading, I suppose, right? So... It's very inaccurate because of the angle that we're going to have, but we'll see. So I guess, but okay, say say twelve knots, eleven. Oh, sorry, kilometers. So, what do you say now about this solution? How how good is this? It is apparently still atrocious. Okay, fine. I'm gonna let you work on that a little bit longer. Because this should be a, a done deal, right? Okay, 30% chance of hit. Oh, come on. This should just improve massively, hopefully. And it is an Isles, apparently. I got that part right. Oh, God. I would... <sighs> I would like to have more than a 50-50 chance of hitting this thing. That would be really, really nice. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking really good. Nice, look at that solution jump up. Okay, I'm 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 happy with this. 
Now, I think we're gonna send three after her. Nah, two is enough. Two is enough, right? And they are cold, so I'm gonna have to use these two. Okay. Want them to go fairly fast. Go, what, what, what's, what's the draft of the... God, it doesn't tell you any information now. No? Okay, fine. 1.5 meters uh, um, below the water should be fine. And what's the spread? Gotta be 16 meters. Come maybe a little bit further apart. And... Then I will let her come around to... A slightly better angle. I'll unlock her, and I'm just gonna sort of line it up for, uh, say here. <coughs> and then basically, when she comes through, we'll fire. An impact pistol or magnetic pistol. Ooh. Nah, we're just gonna go with impact. I'll, I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, God, did I leave a loser? I was gonna say, please tell me I didn't lose her. But yeah, we're, ne we're nearly there. We're nearly there in position A. Just fire at her. You know what? Um, I'm too impatient. This angle will be good enough. I, I can almost guarantee. <clears throat> right, and I, I don't know. Give me the thing and los. So you could see them coming out, but no, we're not. We're not going to be that lucky. And I was looking in the wrong direction, anyways. But yeah, they're on the way. Uh, <clears throat> well, there we go. Let's go and get on her camera view, right? And we know where they're going to come from. Well, it's because, well, I, I set the shot up, so, you know, we're expecting them to any second now. <clears throat> Did I see a trail just there? Come on. Oh, they, they've both missed. <laughs> How in the frick? It must have been a draft thing. I must have been too low. They must have went right underneath. <coughs> Dirty bastards. But uh, -uh I'm uh, uh We're not. We're not. We're not having that. Are we too close here by any chance? It's about one kilometer away, so this should be fine. Yeah, I think this may be a me thing, right? So... And we have only one fish left that we can realistically use. Okay, oh, fine. And they are literally one kilometer away. And uh, I, I don't know where they are. And just we're going to see what happens. I think that was actually me because of distance. They, they wouldn't have even been armed or something like that, I reckon. Yeah, and they're, they're just going to run into nothing. And they're still out there. No, it's not going to be 10 seconds till um, impact, I can tell you that. Can't believe I've done that. Uh, 
<clears throat> yeah, I'm coming from there. Yeah, I know. I know it was a miss. Yes, I know. You're not telling me anything new. I can see the... F Come on. There she is, and she's missed. Right. Right behind. This is fine. And she doesn't even know how lucky she was. So I don't... I, I need to figure out quickly how to reload torpedoes. I actually don't know. Ah, okay. You do the thing like so. You 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 drag it in. Can't, can't believe this. Three torpedoes, all misses. Oh well. But you know that that's what happens when you when you let a novice try at the British or sorry uh, the Royal Navy. Uh, So you know what, uh, you go to the radio for a second please, we're gonna report him, and then I think what I would like to try and do is come and chase him a bit. I don't know if we can overtake him or not, but the, the, the hope is that once we have our torpedo reloaded and we can get a little bit ahead, you know, try and sink him this time. That, that would be awesome. Uh oh. Uh. Oh, she heard us. Oh, she heard us. Uh, this isn't a genuine problem. Everyone, shoot. We're already doing the things. Gosh darn it, she heard us. And then we're not helping ourselves right here. Ah, uh, gosh darn it. Uh, yeah, she's she's coming right for me. You're not going to get to 50 meters. What, what, what are you talking about? Apparently 37 is a thing you can do. Okay. You go back on here. I need you to listen. To what is happening? Oh, I know. Don't I bloody know it? Oh, she's got a track on us. Um. Cannot be operated at current depth. Okay, what's the minimum depth for that then? Because that'd be an interesting proposition to try and... I don't know, uh... 20 meters? Is that gonna be fine? Um... Because she's gonna come after us anyways, right? So I'm gonna try and do a thing here. It's gonna be absolutely stupid and it's probably not gonna work, but we'll see. Oh, we're gonna get water bombs dropped on us, I think. I see that happening. Okay, well, it's something. Now I just need a good solution on you. 
And you're not no help there. Okay, why why not? Okay, you are. Oh, don't I bloody well know that there's sonar after us right now. And right at like so I, I want our just we good to go? It's probably gonna terribly, terribly fail, but we'll just see what happens, okay? I, this is all I can do and hope to escape here. But she's gonna probably dodge it, right? Yeah, it looks like she's gonna dodge it. Uh, okay. I, I need out of here. Alright, okay, and then would have never worked anyways. So, you know, those are all things that happen because I don't know what I'm doing, which is fine. Uh, show me those tubes. Okay, you are doing all the things there, fine. Do we have anything in the bow, uh, in the stern that we can fill up? One more would be awesome just to have. Nope. There is not going to be an impact. Trust me on that, okay? There is not going to be an impact. I I, I need everyone to just... Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? What what other... What other screws did you detect? Are them out there? I, I, I don't even care about them, realistically. We, we, we need just away from here. I, I don't know... How to go about that? Uh, note to self, don't pick a fight with the Royal British Royal Navy. Like, what's wrong with you? I, I just don't know at the moment. Oh my goodness, yeah, we, we are a little bit low there. Although, there is a thing I could try and do. It's entirely stupid, and it may not even work. Come to a stop. Just come to a full stop. And then, we're gonna sink her. Well, not sink her, we're gonna lay her on the, on the bottom. Please, please, no. I know. She stopped them. Oh my goodness, she's... She got us. Okay, so... What was what, the damn? Oh my goodness, I think we have a lot of problems. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna survive this, by the way. So. Yeah, Scheiße is, is right. You, you, you got that right. Okay, we're, we're coming up though. Yeah, this this was entirely stupid on my own part. Like, there's nothing I can even say in my defense. Maybe if we just came to 10... Or even... 
How bad is it? Where is she? Where in the frick is she actually? Okay, we've got a little bit of fresh air that, that didn't help us much though. Uh, compressor. We're gonna need a pump probably. Because, okay, uh, first aid. People are probably gonna die. Got water everywhere. There's water in the compartment. Oh my goodness. How bad is it? Oh my goodness, it, it is actually quite bad. Okay, I need you to take all that into the control room, please. That's a lot of war. We're gonna have to start somewhere. And the pump is on, I believe. Well, at least I told someone to turn the pump on. Erledigt. Schaden repariert. Right. Good. Weber is repairing that stuff. Sailor stabilized. Erledigt. Schaden repariert. Yeah, this game is not for the faint of heart. I'll, I'll, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Really, there's water inside this com compartment, and you don't say. I need you to move that water. Like, we, we need to get rid of it. And, yeah, buckets. Buckets is exactly the thing you're, you, you could probably do, yes. Same here. Um, where is, again, control room? I'm going to do like so. Transfer all that water in there. Oh god, the battery room is running full. <coughs> like, that, that can't be good. Where is... I don't see it. Control room? Oh, well, yeah, no, the control room has the pumps on, though. We've got this water in the... Oh, this is the, from the battery room. Well, please... Keep keep moving it. Oh, gosh. Uh, there's a hole in the port side. That's, that's what's happening here. We have a hole in the actual... In the starboard side and the port side. Oh, oh, oh this is fun. Oh, gosh. Uh, I think we're all going to die down here. Please tell me the pump can actually do this. Like... Well, it, it seems to. Like, it's going down, which to me indicates, you know, that... It's being pumped out. And, you know, we have people with buckets. Okay, close the holes. Where are we? Okay. I, I, wa I want to go home. Well, you know, not not directly home, but we're gonna go and head away. We we're just gonna run away. Run away scared. Well, I'm trying to get the boat under control here. Oh god, that flow rate is going up. Uh, 
yeah, we're all going to die down here very possibly. Right, go and slow down. Because that's in obviously increasing the pressure from the outside if I go fast, right? Let's let's maybe not do that. Um, I'm sure, I just heard a ping. Oh, you are kidding me. Pings are just not good. Please stop. I'm running away already. I, I, I don't want to play this game anymore. Okay. And as a matter of fact, if you're thinking I'm going that way, well, what if we just sort of, you know, do something really entirely stupid, some come over here this way. Oh god, I, I hate that sound so much. Actually, come come over here, we need out of here, we need... We need the boat not full of water, that would be good, but you know, we need... Okay, so that water had been moved, good. What, what else, where, where else do we have water? You still got plenty of water in you. Oh, this is just not going well. Go and empty this room. I think we can do that fairly easy. And what about you? Yeah, you may as well. Oh, can't do that. So you can only do one water transfer at a time. Fine. Oh, gosh. At least a pinging has stopped for now. Okay, guys, how are we getting on with this? Are, are we fixing this hole or are we not? Because it feels like you're just... not getting the hang of it. What if I increase that, uh, decrease that pressure for you guys? What, what if I said, you know, go PD? You know, less water pressure. Come on. Still just too much. We're gonna do something stupid. See if I can just somehow get these guys some reprieve. <coughs> uh oh. Oh, hello. Oh, gosh. Just get. Get rid of these holes. That's all I'm asking. Go on, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> I want you to do it. Do it now. More water in the battery room, of course. Schuster, you may want to send a message off that we're in trouble. Instead of just listening. Okay, so good, 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 good news is though it looks like we've managed to get the control room empty again. Okay, I just need these holes closed. Come on. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna go full pelt, but we're gonna go up. <clears throat> Because obviously they need <clears throat> as little pressure from the outside as possible. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear your pings.
Oh, okay. I forgot about that part. Um, shit. Yeah, I'm not going to get away, I think. Not, not the way I think this is going to work. Oh, my goodness. I think we're in trouble. Apparently coming up is just not a good idea. Oh, just, just disappear, guys. Can we please get underwater? She's shooting at us. Thank you. It's just not. We're not having any good luck here. It's just... Just one thing after the other here at the moment. Um... What's the water situation back here? I'm not entirely bad, but here? Oh, I am surprised. Well, you know what? Go and just get more water out of here. Because I don't think you just want to sleep in... in that much water. I don't think that's a thing you just want to do. So go and do it. Okay, exit. I, I I don't know the solution here. Oh, really? You don't say. I I understand that they are stressed. I I just. Erledigt. Schaden repariert. Okay, some stuff is getting repaired. I imagine the externals are just not going to be a thing right now. Right, there's a whole bunch of stuff there. Damaged. What's wrong with the conning tower? Uh, this is just not... If I can limp her home, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy. But I... I, I just don't know. I just have to see. And there's another hole. So is water coming in from somewhere into something? In the galley. Like, well, we need the water gone, that's just what it is, right? The click, click. And I didn't actually know I could do that that way, so it is what we're doing. That's quite nice. Um, the electric compressor is going still, so we can get that O2 still built up again. And I, I just don't know. Because they're, they're after us like a, like a pest. Yeah. <clears throat> so, where are we, uh, roughly? <laughs> I haven't even escaped yet. <clears throat> <clears throat> Gonna try a... I don't know, we'll go up here. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, and then see how she reacts to that change. I think she's following it. Yep. Oh, she knows. She knows fairly well where we are. Uh, okay, fine. Um, I just don't see me being able to turn around in time to do anything to her. And we're, we're too busy with other things at the moment anyways to consider that, I think. And you're just not getting that fixed by the looks of it, right?
Like, it doesn't matter what I click here, you're just not... <coughs> Go do it! Yo, dude! We're not taking, we can't... Oh. It's not a repair, it's just they're literally holding the hand on the hole. <laughs> uh, problem, I think. I think that's a problem. And yeah, the, the Royal British Navy is apparently pissed off at me. For some weird reason. I don't quite understand what happened. Why would they be pissed off with me? It's not like I've done anything to them. I, I may have threatened violence, but that's not... It's not quite the same thing, though, is it? Uh, yeah. I, I, I can only try and go deeper and deeper as we're sort of getting further out, but that's going to make our problems actually worse. Anyways, um, yeah, there is a pump on in here, so I'm not worried about that. Go and do the thing. Get that water out. Okay, and then, yeah, I have no torpedo to put in there. No, those things didn't happen. Well, maybe they, maybe they did happen, but we're going to just pretend they didn't. Uh, and I, I just don't know my solution here at the moment. Okay. Um, somebody, please. Like, you, I suppose? Go and give me a depth reading. Please. I, I need to know what we can do here. I, I need to escape somehow. 25 under the keel. Well, we've got 8. Well, we're just going to go down. Say 20 minutes. I, I, I don't know. I really don't know at the moment. <laughs> oh, there's another group after us. Oh my goodness. I, I, I think they've sent a quite a few folks after us, by the looks of it. Um, Mommy! Help! Okay, I'm gonna try and very carefully so I'm getting a little bit lower still. Mm. I, I just don't know what my escape plan is going to be here. I, I just don't know quite yet. Because we are... Oofed. Like there's literally no no space left. Let me see what they are doing. Holy! F it's another three ships after me there. More screws. Okay, I'm not. Or propellers. Not so worried about that. Let me... Go up.
Oh my goodness, this is, this was the most stupid idea I've, I've, I've ever had. I mean, what in the world? Uh, what do you mean as it is in critical, critical state? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I didn't realize. I, I, I didn't realize. Oh, if I just love it. So, what is your problem, dude? Where are you? He's injured, but why? How? What? What? What happened to you? Well, you're getting help, anyways. Oh gosh! And I'm gonna. Yeah, we're we're, we're gonna die here. We're, we're gonna die a hilarious death, I think, because I'm gonna. I've just said we're gonna come up. And, yep, everyone's just like, oh, I see you. Did you try and ram me? <coughs> you cannot be serious, right? Yes, I know. Oh, my goodness. I have the, the, the flying shells my way now. And I'm very scared. I don't know what to do. And yeah, of course, I just. This is just not gonna go well. So, one ship there, and then we have one coming right towards us there. I'm sure there was another one somewhere. <laughs> Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. <laughs> oh, I think they're dropping bombs. They indeed are. They're laying a pattern. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't even know, right? Um, we're gonna die. Nothing about this is right, and, you know, all of this is my fault. I understand that part. And I think we can't even build buoyancy anymore because we're taking so much water on. Yeah. We're literally running full of water. And there's... I mean, yeah, I can tell you to do that. I, I don't even know what's going on here. We, we, we're taking on so much water, it's just not even funny anymore. I'm going to try and keep it pumped out, but... Got no idea how that's gonna work. <laughs> Hello, my friend. I see you. Pattern, probably. Yeah. Called that. Yeah, we may as well just wait until. Missing workers and yeah, we're done. I can I can try. I can try and force pressure into the tanks to try and bring us up, but I don't think that is going to happen. It's like emergency blow. No. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Uh, It ain't going go, going well. And close all the bulkheads. And you know we're, we're watery cold grave. Anyone? 
in a dark grave at that. Yes, a sailor died, and we're going to lose many more now. You know, if you just wanted, you could just open the hatch. Oh, apparently you can't. Okay. I was just wanting to give you a way out. I mean, I, I don't even know how one would even recover from this. Yeah, apparently that's what you get. <laughs> and, you know, to be fair, I was just having a bit of fun anyways, because there was no way I could do anything useful in this sort of game. <laughs> I, I just don't know enough about it, right? That's just... Uh, you can try and blow the tanks, but... Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a thing that is going to help us much. Yeah, I, I don't think... I, I think this room is actually filling up with water, by the looks of it. Okay. Well, well, we'll see. I don't think there's anything I can do here. I'm just running time and see um, two more sailors died and you know more sailors dead and yeah it's not going well I am pretty sure I even said everyone's going to die down here You know what? Might as well. Might as well open the bulkheads and see what happens, right? That'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, control room is literally running through now. It's nice of you to stop the game at all these events, but, you know... You know what, I, I'm, we're not even going to fight it anymore, right? We're just going to... Might as well put a diesel compressor on and all this. That, that seems like a really smart thing to do. Is it really difficult to breathe? Well, is that maybe to do with the fact that your room is full of water? I'll put the ventilation back on, if that's your only pro problem. No, apparently that wasn't your only problem. Critical state. Go on. Can, can we just observe the death in peace here? Oh, something blue.
ist so schwer zu atmen. Ist so schwer zu atmen. Yeah, stuff's just not going well. But I wish we could just have it over with. I'm assuming it's pressure issues with us making all that noise. Come on. Sailor has drowned. That's sort of my expectation right now. <clears throat> Yep, defeat. Yeah, it's apparently quite hard to die underwater, especially underwater. But yeah, you know, that was my first uh, run into a U boat. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this, by the way. Um, it was really more to show off the game, and because I tried before and I wanted this done, so now we actually did do the thing, right? Um, yeah, go and hit, uh, hit that follow button, that'd be well appreciated. No, trying to get um, up to that affiliate state and all that good stuff. Um, go and check out my, my YouTube channel. Uh, the, the, there's VODs there that you can check out uh, for a lot of games. And I am also currently thinking, or not just thinking, I'm planning on recording a new series. And I shall see that there's three games to this series. And I shall see that it is the legendary edition of this game that I am playing. And it is by EA. I'm going to leave the wild guesses to the viewers. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. I, I really did, actually. And next time we're going to try and do this properly, okay? Uh, if you want to see this again. <clears throat> that is, if you don't, well, then, you know, we're not going to do this again. And we're going to do maybe more cold waters or something. Bingo! You got it in one, Buckley. Correct. And so, yeah, there will be a, you know, no, no commentary playthrough of Mass Effect turning up on my channel soon. Can't wait for that, actually. So, yeah, thanks again for also the new follow, Blue Ross uh, 2912. Thanks for that. Uh, thanks, Vonnie and Buckley, for turning in, uh, tuning in and, you know, just checking the game out and all that good stuff. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. Have a lovely weekend. Look out for yourselves and each other. And yeah, I'll see you next time.